Hello out there. I wanted to do a quick uh, video on how to update, I believe this is the uh, NTG1 command unit on a uh, W219 Mercedes. Um, I've heard rumors that the ISO files that I have um, are actually compatible on all Mercedes models. Don't take my word for it. Look it up. Um, just type your, uh, your model in and see if the files are compatible with yours, uh, before you attempt this. Um, obviously I can't just leave links to the files, uh, as they are owned by Mercedes, but, um, if anybody else out there has a W219, uh, or the equivalent, um, command unit, which I'll show you what mine looks like here, um, I believe the way to tell um, is if there's a CD slot up here and not a memory slot. Uh, again, don't quote me on that. This this one is also the one with the uh, five CD changer and then the one disc on the top. Uh, in order to update the command software, what you want to do first. Uh, you're going to hold down, you just go in, uh, turn on your ignition to the second position. You don't have to turn your motor on unless you're worried about draining the battery or something. Hold down on the number pad, one, three, eight. Hold it down, and then you will see a message pop up telling you to insert the CD. Um, that's what you do, just pop that ISO CD uh, which I will leave instructions and um, also I can send you the files if you comment on this video on an email you want the link. Um, and then I also do have the updated maps. So this is the updated software and the updated maps. The things that you're going to need is a DVD RW drive so you can burn DVDs and CDs and then you're going to need one blank CD and one blank DVD. The, uh, the maps themselves is just a DVD, as you probably know, in the trunk. Uh, that stays in there all the time. The software ISO is just a one-time deal that I'm doing right here. Uh, I will post uh, instructions in the link. And again, if you want these ISO files, comment below with your email that you want it sent to after you get the link or whatever go ahead and delete the comment and i will be happy to send those directly to you uh, mercedes charges i believe a hundred bucks for each one of these at their dealership um, anyways i have been doing probably three days straight worth of research to figure out how to do this on my own. So hopefully this helps somebody out there.